This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos, and we're going to take a look at logarithms today. Uh, in order to understand the logarithms, um, I kind of wrote out a problem here. It's an equation. Uh, there is a base. That's this big number 2. There's an exponent, x, which is a variable at the moment. And then there's the answer, which is 16. Uh, well, if you know anything about powers, you know that this x has to be to the fourth power, right? 2 to the fourth power is equal to 16. But a lot of problems that involve variable exponents uh, come up, and logarithms are used for dealing with that. All right, well, how, does logarith how do logarithms work? Well, again, it's uh, worthwhile that we talk about what these things mean. So again, uh, let's use some uh, arrows here. So remember that this right here, that big number, is the base. Okay, We know that this right here is the power or exponent and then this is just the answer to the exponential equation the 16 okay so those are kind of important points um, what we usually do when we have a problem like this is we convert it into logarithmic form and doing this several times will help you understand what logarithms are um, it's kind of an involved process and uh, there's no way you can get to fully understand what a logarithm is in one video. You have to understand the properties it has, how to convert from exponential form into logarithmic form, uh, and then once you know all the properties, then you can begin using logarithms to do uh, problems of a certain type. All right, again, we have this problem, and I'm going to rewrite it in something called logarithmic form. All right, so what is a logarithm? Well, well when we write it in logarithmic form, we write the word log. So we have this log. It has a base. So we put this, uh, we're going to put a number here, a very small number, not zero, but the number is going to go right there. And then there's a big number we put here. And then there's going to be an equal sign. And then we're going to have some value over here. All right. So there's like three positions uh, on a logarithm problem. All right. Well, the base goes below here. Now remember, the two was the base, right? So I'm going to put 2 right there. It's the base of the problem here. Well, the base goes right there. Um, I know that the answer to a logarithmic problem, to a logarithm problem, is the exponent. So I know the exponent is the answer to a log problem. So that only leaves one spot to put the 16, which is right here. I'm going to put the 16 right there. So this is actually how we convert from an exponent exponential equation, or an equation that has an exponent in it, uh, to an equation that has a logarithm in it. Now, we actually, we could plug this into a calculator, if it's a good enough calculator, uh, like a TI Inspire, and uh, it'll actually give us the answer for x, which should be 4. All right, 2 to the fourth power is 16. So that's how we convert it. All right, so this is the first step of getting used to logarithms, is working with a problem. All right, well, let's take a look at another problem. So let's say we have 5 cubed is equal to some value. So, you know, we could plug this into a calculator, 5 times 5 times 5. We could figure out what y is equal to, but that's not the point. The point today is to figure out how do we convert from exponential form into this new thing called logarithmic form. All right, again, you put log here. And there's three things, right? There's three positions with a logarithm. So the first is the base. So here for this problem, our base is 5. Uh, we know that there's going to be the answer to a logarithm. And the answer is always the power. And then the other number just goes right there. Or here, in this case, it's a variable. It's the only other place to put that value. So this is the equation that has logarithms in it. Okay, um, That's basically how you do these problems. Now uh, I'm going to give you a problem to do. Let's say we have 7 to the c power is equal to 15. I'm going to give you a moment to figure out how to write it in logarithmic form. You could pause the video now if you'd like and do the problem. All right, now I'm going to show you how to do the problem. So we write it as log, 
And there's three things to put in here, right? Three numbers to put in. Answer, base, and then this value. Well, we know that the base is 7. We know the answer to a logarithm problem is the exponent, C. And then, of course, we know the other numbers, only other one other spot to put the 15, which is right there. So we could calculate what C is equal to. If we plug this into a calculator, we could take the log base 7 of 15 and find out what C is. All right, so that's basically how these logarithms work. Go back to mathguide.com, check out our other videos on logarithms. We also have interactive quizzes, lessons, and other videos. Take care.